Hey YouTubers, this is a, a, a fairly quick video, a little repair to a Caddock Carry Chef um, gas sort of grill stroke barbecue um, that we've had for quite a long time. They still make these, but the uh, the um, they've got some upgraded um, newer versions out, which don't suffer with the problem that these do, which is broken legs. The legs are fitted together with a little plastic piece. You can see where it's sheared off of there um, and that's that's how they fit when you get them they're riveted on the one side and screwed together on the other side so you push them together put the screws in but they um, they're kind of flimsy now that little knobby bit that sticks out um, clips onto a uh, plastic tray piece there which uh, stabilizes the whole thing um, so you do need those so I sort of pondered how I'm going to repair these. Now these, there's no parts available for these. They've uh, discontinued them. Um, thanks, Kadak. Um, you can get the ones for the later ones which have screw on legs. These um, sort of clip on like that. Plan B was if I couldn't repair this, I was going to cut these these legs off about halfway down maybe and um, use it as a sort of tabletop thing so you could cut the legs off and put the little um, feet back on them. They just, they just push in. Um, what I managed to do is I managed to find some aluminium um, or aluminium if you're an American. Um, well, these are little aluminium uh, bus bars, but they're scrap ones anyway. I love me bits of scrap. Um, and what I managed to do is by bending it slightly, it will actually fit in quite nicely and lock up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drill and tap um, out so that the um, there's clearance holes there and um, drill and tap into the aluminium bar. I mean, that's sort of, um, you know, getting on for a quarter of an inch thick, so it will take a couple of threads. So I'm going to put a couple of M5 um, bolts there, which will pull it all together. And uh, not forgetting to leave a gap in the middle to, to sort of... Um, um, so you've got the same distance as that, so we'll obviously make wind up with all three legs being the same length. So, uh, you know, uh, not so bad with obviously a tripod than it would be if I had four legs, but there we go. So we'll do a little bit of drilling and tapping, and uh, I'll show you when it's done. Right, first thing I'm going to do here is drill the outside part of the leg out with the clearance size for an M5, which um, I've got a 5.5, so that should just about clear it. Carefully just to the outside part of the leg. Right now we're going to go for tap in size for M5, which is about 4.2 millimeters. Like so, try and keep, try and get the holes more uh, central in the outer hole, if you like. Do my best anyway. The next thing we're going to do is tap it out with an M5 tap. This is a bit of a taper one, which is what you should start with. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lube that up with a little bit of um, WD-40. I mean, there are proper tapping, um, thread tapping lubricants, but WD is good for everything. If that doesn't work, what you can always do is get the big hammer on it. So, we'll have a good tap in that. WD screw with WD-40. Let me go with the tap. A little bit of pressure on it. Like so. Kind of awkward filming left handed.
of course all these taps and grills and things like that are uh, pretty easily available at your local hardware store or eBay or something like that. Let it muck off a bit. I've sprayed the W40 down in the holes as well as starting off with a bit on the tap. You know, this is uh, rough and ready engineering here. I've got some M5 screws, but they may be a little, they're probably going to be a little bit long, so I'm going to have to cut those off. Unless I can root around and find some that are the right length. Of course, the other thing I'm going to have to do is drill and tap a bolt in there at a bit of an angle to simulate the, uh, the little uh, knobby bit that holds the, uh, the centre tray thing on. So uh, that's probably going to have to be a bit, bit bigger. I would think probably an M6 gutter bolt or something like that. It's probably got the sort of head size that will do nicely. Right, so we've got the threads down there now. You probably just about see them. So uh, we'll uh, um, put, find some appropriate length bolts, or cut some off, and uh, I'll show you that. Right then, we've um, managed to uh, find some screws. Well, these, as, as per normal with my luck, these screws were too long, but um, it's one thing I do love about these uh, thin angle grinder blades these days. They do cut little bolts and things off and sheet steel and all quite nicely. You can see the little button, or little knobby bit on the end of there, it's that kind of size. This is a M6 gutter bolt, head kind of similar size, so I think that'll do. I've drilled a hole in there, uh, a tapping size for um, um, M6, uh, which I think is oh, <laughs> 4.8 or something like that. I'll just double check on that one. In my little set, which comes with uh, tapping size drills, it's a, M, it's a five millimeter, so uh, that's drilled at a sort of angle to, to um, simulate the angle of that. So um, I'm going to tap, tap that out now. And I'll probably, after shorten this screw, and I'll probably put a little lock nut on it and also a dab of arrowdite to keep it in, I think. You don't want it coming loose. But the whole the whole thing is, with all this stuff with this uh, grill, is that, you know, it all being hot and all the rest of it, I wanted to make sure this is strong, because the last thing you want it doing is... Uh, breaking uh, and dropping red hot steaks in your lap or <laughs> sausages or whatever so um yeah hopefully it, you know it seems pretty tough with the piece of aluminium in i mean my wife said to me oh why don't you glue it well you can't glue things like this and there's not been enough plastic in there to sort of uh, drill it and put pins in or you know steel pins in or anything like that so that's why i went for this piece of aluminium well here we are at the finished job i think that's sort of um Pretty reasonable repair considering uh, it's a bit tricky. I have to admit the uh, the uh, drilling of the uh, hole for the uh, sort of gutter bolt I've used there is a little bit off center. I might decide to put a little bit of arrowdite around it just to make sure it stays in place. I was going to put a nut on it, but I think at that angle and stuck back in there, it's almost impossible to tighten the nut up. So uh, a little blob of arrowdite it is, and uh, hopefully the old cadet can be up and going again, and we can uh, cook a few, a few more. Um, rashers of bacon and eggs and steaks and things in it when we're uh, off camp in the weekend. There you go. And here it is, all back on his feet and um, I think uh, pretty solid considering that's a, pretty much as solid as it was before. So uh, I'm quite happy with that. It's certainly uh, safe to use and it'll uh, carry on for a few more years. There we go.